Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 Super Clock version with ACX cooling. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this. Be right back. Let's take a look at the box. Of course, as you can see, it does say two gigabytes of GDDR5. The box is gray and white in color, and you have the NVIDIA logo, the GeForce GTX 760 logo here. This is the super clock version. It is also the ACX cooling version. It is three-way three SLI capable. And this here says that EVGA is the number one seller in the US of NVIDIA products. This card also has GPU Boost 2.0. If we flip over to the back of the box, you're going to notice that we have some information about the card itself. We do have a look at the actual card with the ACX cooler on it. This shows your display ports. If the card were inside the box, you could actually see the the uh, serial number of the card on the uh, in, on the card here and of course with this you're going to get a lot of uh, extras as in accessories so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first we have one two Molex to uh, PCIe connectors We also have a DVI to VGA connector. The EVGA guide. Of course, we have our driver disc, which includes Precision X, the drivers, and OC scanner on it. Our little disclaimer. Insert another user's guide. Go ahead and get that in the middle here. I'm doing something a little bit different to give you a closer view here. An important notice, and of course, some stickers which basically say enthusiast built, and you have two different colors a black and a white. The card itself actually comes in a blister pack. It's pretty well secured in here. And we'll go ahead and take the video card out and take a look at it. So here you have it. This is the EVGA super clock version of the GTX 760. It has the ACX cooling in it. So you can see it has the new ACX shroud on top of it. We also have silver denominations here, uh, silver accents that say what card it is and where we're going to be uh, the actual GTX 760 GeForce. We have two fans, it's dual fan cooling solution. It also has a wider heat sink on the bottom. This card actually requires one eight pin and one six pin other than the reference board. This is not a reference board. This is EVGA's own design of the board for the 760. So it requires a six and an eight pin connector, PCIe connector. It's got a TDP of about 180 watts. Now, if we look at the front, we have two DVI ports. We also have an HDMI and a display port. Right here, if we pull this off, it'll reveal your SLI bridges connectors, and you could use tri, tri SLI with this card. So, after having a look at the card, we'll go ahead and look at the specifications, and then we'll come back and I will give you my review of how I think the card.
GeForce GTX 760 super clock version with ACX cooling. As you can see, this is not the reference design anymore. EVGA has actually created their own cooling system. It is a superior cooling system. What I have seen in our benchmarks versus maybe a GeForce WinForce and the WinForce by Gigabyte, I'm sorry, and the Twin Frozer by MSI. It does cool better. It has denser fans and fan blades, which will also allow you to collect less, you know, to use less power on the card itself. It's got a wider heat sink, so larger volume, you're going to get better cooling. It also has a back plate installed, or not a total back plate, but a, a, a bracket plate in here to help cool off your uh, your MOF set and your and your memory. It's actually a pretty nice looking card. I mean, I I, I was quite shocked when I found out that EVGA actually went to this because I've been asking them for a couple of years when they were going to go to their own uh, to their own cooling and stuff like that. But basically, what you're going to get with this card, you're not only going to get the superior cooling now and a non-reference board because, as I, as I pointed out before, you've got the 8-pin and the 6-pin because this has a little bit of a higher TDP. Um, it is a six-phase change. But, in any case, this ha the Superclocked has one of the highest overclocks, warranted overclocks on the market compared to the other overclock cards. You're also getting a three-year warranty with this card. You're getting EVGA's support, which is probably one of the best in the business. And remember, the other thing that you're getting is a massive, massive following in their forums, whether it be in their support forums or just on the EVGA forums, or even through EVGA Gaming, which you become a member of and play with EVGA. So you're getting a very good support base with this card if you purchase it. That is one of the most important things. You don't want to have a card go on you and it take you three months to get an RMA. EVGA has been very good with that. Sometimes they will directly cross ship, ship a card to you without even having the card so as long as you ship it back you'll have no problem. As per performance, it outperformed its predecessors and it does outperform the AMD 7950. Of course, we didn't show any benchmarks in there. I didn't feel it valid because the 7950 is a lot older card than, than this. This is a new version of the, uh, of, of the GeForce GTX series, 700. So we're talking about 7000 series that have been out for you know two years. Really, what are we going to look at performance-wise? So is the 7950 going to perform the same? No. What's the price on this card? $259. And another good thing about this is, even though it has the ACX cooler on it, it's the same price if you were to buy the version that did not have the ACX cooler, just had the regular EVGA cooler. So $259 for this card. This is a steal. This is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Mainstream gamers, you finally have something that's going to give you the performance that you are looking for at high resolutions and high settings. We've played everything at the highest settings we could possibly do, cranked up the, cranked up the uh, tessellation, and this card did not stutter. We're going to go ahead and give this an Editor's Choice Award, and that is based on its price, performance, and overall quality with what it comes with, and that would be the warranty and their RMA service and their support forms. You guys have a great day with over a thousand videos uploaded. If you haven't seen it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all. Visit us on Facebook, www.facebook.com, front slash HTL reviews. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com, front slash High Tech Legion. Of course, please subscribe to our channel. I'm a little bit tired tonight, uh, getting ready for this launch, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit monotoned, but I definitely will change that in the future. But in any case, stay thirsty, my friends. Have a great day. See you the next time. Bye.